Salesforce pages are made out of Lightning components, which you can arrange using App Builder. When the out-of-the-box components Salesforce provides don't give you what you need, a developer can create custom Lightning Web Components, or LWC for short. Lightning Web Components are built on the Web Components standard and let developers customize the Salesforce UI using standard JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. In this demo, we'll look at how both devs and admins work with LWC. Developers get simplified access to platform features like context. In this example, the record ID of the page that the user is looking at. This get record can pull data and metadata from Salesforce. We'll pass it the record ID and get back any fields we need, like this contact's birth date. And code can import labels for easier internationalization and more flexibility for the admins. This code determines if it's the customer's birthday, so we can display a prominent message for anyone working with that customer. In the HTML file, you'll see a lightning base component, like this lightning card that uses an icon. There's a whole library of these base components with documentation and live examples to help you get started. CSS is standard CSS, plus you get variables that can reference Salesforce's design system. This special LWC configuration file lets developers make their components properties configurable by admins who can decide if they want to use these fancy CSS animations. Once you have a custom component in your org, you can drag it onto the page and use those configurable properties. We also configured our component to work in flows, so let's see what that looks like. This flow has two screens where you select a contact and then you look at its information. Here's that same custom component with the same configurable properties that can refer to variables from your flow. We'll save our flow and preview it in the debugger. The user can select a contact, and once we have that contact ID, our component can grab the data and render. 